My numbers game is a fun Lucky Dip style drawing challenge that I created for my 5th and 6th graders. Having tried it out, I think it makes a great Friday afternoon or an end of semester project or an early finishes activity. Equally, I think it can be integrated into a larger unit on drawing skills. My students learn to grow their creativity and stretch their imagination muscles through a positive challenge environment. Artists often challenge themselves to go beyond what they've done before by trying new materials, new subjects, and new processes or setting new parameters. An essential foundation of my art program is student openness to new experiences. And this lesson challenges students through unexpected subject choices and unusual paper formats. Because the lesson was framed as a lucky dip game, I found my students approached their surprises with anticipation and a positive attitude. What is the lucky dip element? Students choose two numbers from the board, but they don't know what subjects or the paper that belong to those numbers beforehand. Before the lesson, I prepared a numbered list of subjects and the scraps of colored black and brown paper. The list of subjects included animals, people, plants, flowers, activities like sailing, sleeping, riding a scooter, and topics such as an abstract, a feeling, city, grassy fields, the sea. Preparing the paper before the class, I tore and cut irregular edges and shapes from a range of colored papers, some brown drawing paper and some black drawing paper. You can see the kinds of shapes and sizes in the video and the largest piece of paper that I tore was about one eighth of an A4 sheet of paper, which would be one eighth of a letter sized piece of paper. The third thing I prepared before the lesson was putting the large, the A1 sized white display paper on the wall. During the lesson, the sequence goes like this. Students choose two numbers. The teacher assigns their two subjects from the numbered list and then gives them two randomly selected but different scraps of paper. The student creates their work and on completion, the teacher and student can then paste their drawings to the large display sheet of paper. I found that 30 to 40 minutes is usually enough time for a class of 15 to 20 students. So you could adapt this to your own circumstances. I hope you have fun with this exercise. My students certainly loved the project and we were all very proud of the results that we posted on the display sheet on the wall.